Join myself and King as Ramadi. Together we will devour the very God. Okay guys, this is the second part of the video that I already uploaded of Yoshimitsu's tips for tips or tips and tips. Uh, I am going to announce that I am not using a controller right now. I am using a keyboard and mouse or should I say just the keyboard itself because the controller that I fixed, it is completely broken. I can't do anything with it. The D-pad doesn't want to work. I tried fixing it. Nothing uh, changed. So I'm stuck using the keyboard, so bear with me when I'm using the keyboard because I'm not that familiar with it. I have practiced for two days right now so that I can see if I can get accustomed to it. But as soon as I get the next controller, or a gamepad I mean, I'll then perform better for you guys. So let's get to it. Now, one of the things that I've seen in the previous video's comment section is that a lot of guys have been giving me tips uh, on a few things that I've missed. Uh, with Yoshimitsu in Tekken 8 and one of the things that I have not seen was that You can go into no sword stance and let's say the enemy was blocking And you go for your Kensho into two charge one plus two it gives you a guard break But not only that it guarantees you a back to two <laughs> I didn't know that you can do that. I didn't really look into it to see really if you can actually perform something out of it from a guard crush. So that's pretty neat. The other thing also from the previous video that I mentioned, while you're trying to do Kensho into forward one, holding it, it would be negative on your part. So for example, you're minus 12, but if you're using it while not holding it, you're minus five. But one of the commenters stated that if you go into no sword stance, and you use the move, but you're holding it, it's minus 9. So you're still safe if you're using it in no sword stance. So that's a neat thing that I have now learned that I just want to add on to this video. One thing that the commenter hasn't told me that I think this is something new that I figured out. I don't know if anybody else has figured it out. They probably have, but I'm just going to announce it on my channel. That you can actually guarantee yourself a forward 2 from Kensho from a 4-4-3, four, four, regardless if it's a counter hit or not, because you're plus 12. That is guaranteed, regardless if it's on a counter hit or on a normal hit. I've also forgot to mention that in your No Sword Stance, your 1-1, one, one, or should I say your 1-1 one, one into Kensho, also gathers health and does more damage. Now, I think that's really all that I uh, figured out besides uh, those few things and what the commenter has essentially uh, showed me. But I guess what I'm going to go into is a little bit of a combo section where I can show you guys some of the things you can do with Yoshimitsu. I know that you guys have already probably seen combo videos for Yoshimitsu and are tired of it. I'm just going to implicate some of the things you can do with Yoshimitsu that you probably have not seen and basically show it to you guys. So one of the things that I have checked is that you can perform the counter hit from full crouch down 4-4. Four four. You can already do this in Tekken 7. But one of the combos that I've seen uh, you can do with Yoshimitsu is this. So that's one way you can go for the combo. That's more of a beginner one, so let's show you more of an intermediate version. And now for the advanced one. So that's the advanced combo you can do. Mind you, you can also do this same combo on a counter hit if you're counter hitting from a Kensho 3. Same combo route. Both, uh, not both. All three of the combo routes that I showcased you. The beginner one, the intermediate, and the advanced. All can be done from the Kensho 3 counter hit. You can also get the same three types of combo routes if you do a counter hitting up forward 2. 
If you're looking to find a particular combo you can do from Kangaroo Kick, the last video showcased that you can try going for Moonshot Slayer, but that's not really the optimal route. That's just something that I figured out you can do with Moonshot Slayer with Kangaroo Kick, and it's really difficult to pull off. So I advise to not really go for it. It's just something that you can probably go for it if you want to be stylish and trying to catch people off guard, especially if you are in a floor stage that breaks the floor. So do that with what you will, but this is the most optimal one that I figured out. So there's two ways that I just showcased. One does a little bit less damage, but it's a little easier to pull off. Well, the other one requires you to do the three slide four into your Majin stance to go into your forward one plus two. So that's one way you can go about doing it. Besides that, I really don't have anything else to really showcase. Uh, I did not expect my uh, small little guide to really garner that many views and I exploded with 83 new actually I don't want to say 83 I think it's like more like 80 new subscribers since that video so I'm very much happy with you with what I've essentially gained uh, you can tell that I'm kind of excited and I'm fumbling on my words here trying to be somewhat professional here <laughs> But yeah, I'm quite happy with what's going on. Uh, if you guys like this part of the video, there's still a lot of other things I can showcase, but that is not really something new, I would say, solely on the fact that there's a lot of other videos out there that showcase some of the combos you can perform with Yoshimitsu. So I'm not exactly a cyclopedia of knowledge when it comes to Yoshimitsu combos. So if you want to see other things, you can probably find it out on YouTube, but this is the ones that I figured out that you can perform with your treatment too. So if you like what you saw, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more of my shit, and stay tuned.